This story is about the hare and the tortoise. Here, Harry loved running more than anything in the world. Every morning, he woke up and went for a run. Then he ran to work. Ran around all day. Run around all day. Harry, you're early. Now run home. Everyone said he was the fastest here around. The fastest here around. Maybe the fastest he here. Everyone said he was the fastest here around. Maybe the fastest here in the history. Harry, you're amazing. Harry was sure was sure about of it. Well, you know, I do a lot of training. Tom Tortoise worked with Harry all day long. He heard Harry boosting. He didn't think Harry was so special. I beat Oh, I beat my own record again. Harry was always laughing at, laughing at him. Take your time, Tommy. I just run on the spot until you're ready. One morning, Harry was feeling very pleased with himself. He ran to work in record time. I really need some extra heavy shoes to slow me down. I must be the fastest creature in the world, he said. Let's have a race to prove it. Come on, who wants to race? Harry couldn't believe it when Tom Tortoise plodded over. I race you, Harry, he said quietly. Tommy Switcher? Are you serious? asked Harry. You wouldn't even get started. Ho ho, that's a good one. I need it, said Tom. Let's have the race next Saturday at 10 o'clock. You two were to race. Well, 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 well. I'll have a good laugh anyway. For the next few days, the animals talk about nothing else. Has Tommy gone crazy? The story was on the newspaper. It was even on the television. Harry trained extra hard. He woke up early in the mornings and run, uh, went running in the evening, too. He knew he would win, but he wanted to win by miles. He chose a good long course for the race. Tom Tortoise didn't seem to be training at all. Perhaps he thought there was no point. Don't you think you should exercise a little? At last, Saturday arrived. All Harry friends came to watch him race. Tom friends were there too, but they didn't look quite happy, quite so happy. It was a beautiful day. Harry saw some television. Harry came and did a little running special for them. Tom just keep on talking to his friends. Soon it was time for the race to begin. Harry ready at the start line. Tom slowly uh, plodded over. Come on, Tommy, let's not start late. On your marks, get set, go, said the coach, said the amber. Harry raced off and disappeared almost at once. Everyone laughed as poor Tom um, Pulled, potted over the line. As soon as he was out of sight, Harry stopped beside the tree. Just need to catch my breath. After all his early train, 
Yesterday morning training, Harry was very tired. Nobody was looking. He had plenty of time to sit down for a while. He was stay still win the race easily. His eyes started closing. Why not have a nap? That would make it funnier when he won the race. He said, settled down in the shade soon he was asleep. Meanwhile, Tom Thompson was slowly making his way along, along the course. Most of the animals had gone straight to the finish line. Only Tom's friend stayed with him. Nobody saw Harry sleeping under the, the, the tree. Hours after the sun was setting and the air was cool. Harry woke with a shock. Where was he? Suddenly he remembered he hadn't to, meant to sleep for so long, but he could still be toward Tom. Harry felt much better after his nap, and he did a fit, few stretches, then raced off. He could see the finish. Now there was a huge crowd and they were already cheering. At the moment he saw a small brown shell shape coming up to the line. Harry felt cut all over. Surely that wasn't Tom? He ran faster than ever before. Yes, he could do it. The cheering grew louder and louder. Look, Harry, look, it's Harry. What? Whatever happened to him? Harry dived over the line, but he was too late. Tommy's a winner. Well done, Tommy. Tom Tortoise had won, and he didn't even look out, look out of breath.